All right. We should be on the air. Let's wait a few minutes, see if we get anybody in here. Let's check and make sure we're good to go. Let's see. Well, I haven't streamed in like six days on FV Racing. Not good. Not good. Yeah, last week. Yeah, it was last Saturday. That's right. I did a race last Saturday. All right. All right, so we're good to go there. All right, one fifteen. One fifteen. Interesting. We're doing some Kobe sneakers at one fifteen. I'm going to try to get my hands on those uh, just for reseller purposes, of course. Just for reselling purposes. Let's see here. Let's make a post. We are. We are. All right. All right, so we're playing this mod WWF nineteen eighty nine. All right, so we're playing. All right, I just want to make sure the audio was good. We're good. So I'm booking this uh, WrestleMania. 
I wrote my I wrote down my ten matches in my my notepad so that I could uh, keep track of all of them. Don't really want this tag match to go any further than ten minutes. Let's push. Let's push King Haku. We're definitely going to have some cheating. And Bobby Heenan should definitely interfere in the match. All right. So now the next match I have on my list here is uh, Rick Rude and Scott Steiner. But let's, we'll have, uh, you know, back in the old days, the WWF in the 80s, they would do those promos with Mean Gene right before they go out there. So we're going to do that. And we'll do that with Steiner. Talking about Rude. And then we'll do it. We'll do it with Rude. Talking about Steiner. I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't think I should do like matches made or anything like that. I don't think that really would apply in this instance. Oh, yeah, I forgot to name it. Rude Talks Steiner Match. Save that angle. Go back in here and edit this. And Steiner Talks Rude Match. And then save that. So to recap, what I have right now is the show opens up with the Brain Busters against Strike Force. That's when I will also do the turn of Rick Martell, just like they did in real life. I'm going to follow that. Martell turning on, on Tito. And then I got Bravo, uh, Dino Bravo against Hercules. Dino's going to win with cheating. Then I got Perfect versus the Blue Blazer. Perfect's going to win clean. However, he is going to make Blazer look good. Then I got Bad News Brown against uh, Bret Hart. Bret Hart's going to win clean. I have the Colossal Connection, which is King Haku and Andre the Giant with Bobby the Brain Heenan. Taking on Jim Duggan and Big John Stud with Haku winning with cheating. And then I got Steiner talking about the Rude match. Rude talking about the Steiner match. And now we're going to do the match. Rick Rude, Scott Steiner. And I'm actually going to put on here for them to steal the show. Let's try it. We're going to put on here for them to steal the show. But I'm wondering, who should I have win? That's the question. You know what? I'm just going to let I'm just going to let the game decide. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let the game decide. But I'm going to let them try to steal the show. I forgot to mention my commentators for this WrestleMania, Gorilla Monsoon and Jesse Ventura. Well, I'm going to let the game decide. Who wins that match? Because I really don't know. I got Scott Steiner. But. But. You know. Without Rick. In the 80s. I don't know. Scott Steiner in 98. Different story. 89. I don't know. I think I messed up on that signing. Piper versus Orndorff. This is a match that I had been building. I'm building and building and building. So it's Piper and Orndorff. And I think what I'm going to do is I think Piper's going to win this. Piper's going to win this in 14 minutes. But we're also going to make Orndorff 
look good. However, I'm going to put in here that we're going to start to change. We're going to flip Orndorff. Because with uh, our main event, most likely going to be Hogan beating Savage. Well, no, I think we'll 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 slow build Orndorff turning heel. I think if we do Hogan here, if Hogan wins this, I think it only makes sense to have Piper face Hogan. My next pay per view it's what SummerSlam. It's SummerSlam. In real life, that was the Hogan Beefcake Savage Zeus match because we were trying to get over the movie No Holds Barred. So, hmm. Questions abound. I, you know. We could do that. We could emulate real life in that regard. By having that not be SummerSlam, though. That could be a Saturday night's main event. But I'd have to hire Zeus. I don't think he's going to be available. Yeah, he's not available yet. What was his real name? What was his... What was Zeus's real name? I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to sign him just yet. We don't have to worry about that just yet. All right. But I think we'll have Piper, Piper Hogan, SummerSlam. Now, I know that doesn't go, you know, Hogan's really about the big monsters, but I think Piper and Hogan would be good. The Honky Tonk Man's going to beat Warrior tonight for the Intercontinental title, and I'm going to start to warm up Warrior for a run at Hogan at WrestleMania 6, kind of like real life. But I think Hogan's going to beat Warrior. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Rockers versus Demolition is my next match. And this is my first of three title matches. And I was going to go with the Rockers here. Believe it or not. I was going to give the Rockers the tag team titles. I figure that's something different. You know, that's something different. The Rockers winning the tag team title, something they didn't do back in their run. So Rockers versus Demolition. Uh, Crush needs to be ringside. Where's Crush? I just had Crush a debut. We're going to let them go 16 minutes. Shawn Michaels is going to get the dub. And they're going to become the new WWF Tag Team Champions of the world. Agent notes. No. Nothing there. 
Smash is unhappy with the result of this match and has requested it be changed. Hmm. Sorry, Smash. Smash is unhappy with this segment. I wonder why he's got a problem with it. I wonder why. Smash, you, you have no booking power. Yeah, I, I don't, you know. I was going to go with the Rockers here. But maybe I shouldn't. Maybe we should get a draw. We'll do a count out finish. We'll still make Shawn Michaels look good. And I guess we'll we won't we'll go against the title change here. We'll have to come back. Maybe we'll come back at Saturday night's main event. So I'm not gonna want to do that on primetime wrestling. Alright. Next I have Honky Tonk Man. And the ultimate warrior, the ultimate warrior. And this is going to be a honky tonk promo. Talking about warrior. And then we're going to do one with the warrior. Talking about Honky Tonk. Mm -mm -mm. Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk. I'm just a Honky Tonk man. He's a Honky Tonk man. I'm a Honky Tonk man. Warriors promoters, though, they tend to ramble. Warrior talks. Honky Tonk. And let's edit this one. Honky Tonk. Talks Warrior. Do something like that. All right. Boy, I only have 52 minutes left of this show. Honky Tonk Man is going to win his title back after 400... Days of being champion and losing the belt to Warrior. Honky Tonk is going to get the title back. Honky Tonk's going to win. However, the purpose is to make Warrior look good. Good luck. Good luck, Honky Tonk Man. Good luck. You're going to need it. Trying to make Warrior look good. You're going to need it, bud. The Warrior is unhappy about the result and has requested it be changed. Okay. Jimmy Hart. Like, I, I, I want to do bigger things with Warrior. It's like, dude, you're going to have to drop that belt. You know? You're going to have to drop the belt. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. The main event, Savage... Going to first cut his promo on Hogan. Four minutes. Savage discusses Hogan. And then the last one's going to be Hogan 
and Savage. Hogan talks Savage match. Okay. Okay. And what else? Add the match. I let him go 35 minutes. That's an obscene amount of time. But we're going to do it. Hogan versus Savage, Miss Elizabeth at ringside. Jimmy Corderas is going to be our referee. There's no gimmick match involved. The winner is Hulk Hogan. The win type is going to be clean. The purpose, though, we're still going to make Savage look good. Miss Elizabeth is... Uh, we won't let her interfere. I was going to have her interfere, but I won't do that. All right. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got two guys that are furious they're going to lose the titles. Like, this is what WrestleMania is all about, brother. So we'll have to do some damage control. I'll have to do some damage control with uh, Warrior and Savage. There's not much I can do. I booked a three-hour show. It's the show that I've been planning. So let's hope for the best. That's a great start. 94% is a great start. That is, that is truly, truly... A great start. 94. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's see what else. This next segment here, 71%. Small few were offended by the violence. We're going to handle the character change. Rick Martell has left Strike Force. Strike force. Boy, there were moments in this where the crowd lost interest. I don't blame you. All right? I lost interest in booking this match. But I want to get these guys over, man. Hercules. I, I don't know why I had Hercules lose. <laughs> yeah. It just killed him in North America, Latin America, Europe, Oceania. It just killed him. That was probably a, a poorly booked match. So far, this show is not that good. That's an 81. It's a four-star match. Four stars for the match quality. Mr. Perfect and the Blue Blazer, which also happened at WrestleMania. It's the only reason why I did it. 77, Bad News Brown and Bret Hart. Let's 
77. Three and a half stars. Bad News Brown. Bret Hart. There you go. There's an 80. That's crazy. I would not have guessed. This must be because of star power. Yeah. Andre the Giants. Star power. This is, I, you know, I would not expect uh, these four workers uh, to to be that great. But again, you know, uh, match quality, two and a half stars. All right. Steiner talks rude. Doesn't really help. Rude Talk Steiner, 93%. Look at that. Who's going to get the win? Wow, Rick Rude won. By aiming to steal the show, the workers really upped their game in rank. Rick Rude gets the win. Maybe we should do Hogan Rude instead of Piper. No, we could do Hogan Piper, but maybe we should do Hogan Rude at SummerSlam. <laughs> What's up, buddy? I let the computer choose that. I let the computer choose. All the other matches, I picked the winners, but I let the computer choose this one, and now it's got me thinking Rick Rude against Hulk Hogan. Maybe it's SummerSlam. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can keep this going here because I had a 93 and an 88. Next up is Piper Orndorff. Piper Orndorff, 88. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take it. Piper had a boost to their performance because of their gimmick. The star power of Piper added to the match. The refereeing work of Danny Davis was good. The announcing work was great and elevated the match. All right. I thought I booked them to talk. I wonder why I didn't book. I should have probably booked those two guys to talk. At least Piper. I think I messed up by not putting in a, a Piper promo before the match. All uh, right, next is the Rockers and Demolition, 79. I had to change, I had to change the finish. I was going with a Rockers title victory, but Smash wanted me to change the finish. So maybe we'll have to work up a rematch. We'll get them worked up. With, that's why I did the count out. I did the count out finish so I could go back to it. Maybe as Saturday night's main event. Cause I, I, I probably want to do it before SummerSlam. Or maybe we just do it at SummerSlam. I don't know. All right. Honky Talk Man cutting a promo on Warrior. 89. Warrior cutting a promo on Honky Talk. 100%. Yeah, see? And that's... That's why I wanted the Rockers to win. But for some reason, Smash had a problem with it. So I didn't want to anger him. Because I'm about to anger Ultimate Warrior. And I'm about to anger Macho Man. So I didn't need three guys, you know, angry at me. But maybe if I can continue to have the Rockers win matches, maybe they can get up to that point where I could change the titles and it not hurt me. Hockey talk man, the warrior, the crowd was red hot, 90%. Hockey talk gets a boost because of his gimmick. The star power of warrior added to the match. The honky talk man is the new WWF intercontinental champion. And new. Honky Talk Man is back to being champion. The self-proclaimed greatest intercontinental champion of all time. He got three and a half stars out of Warrior. Warrior's popularity has plummeted across the world. But that's okay. Because we're going to be tuning up the Warrior now for his big run 
to next year's WrestleMania against Hogan, where I don't know, do we let the game follow real life and let Warrior win? Do we change the past by letting Hogan beat Warrior in Toronto? I don't know. Let's go on. We're getting here to the main event. We got Savage's promo with Hogan, 100%. And now the Hogan promo on Savage, 95%. So Hogan, uh, Savage, how about a better promo than Hogan? It's a colossal showdown here in the main event. I got him going 35 minutes. It's the longest match on the card by more than double. I gave Hogan Savage 35 minutes in the main event of WrestleMania. Five. This is 1989, so it's WrestleMania five. So once I click next segment, we will see how it all shakes down. I'm hoping... For a hundred percent, a hundred percent would keep this show red hot. I mean, from Rick Rude versus Scott Steiner. No, actually, from Rick Rude's promo promo about Scott Steiner down. It's a pretty solid show, with the exception of the Demolition Rockers match only getting seventy nine percent. So here we go. Give me a hundred, baby. Give me a hundred. Yes. Ha <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The crowd was red hot. Four star match for Savage Hogan. Hogan is the new and new WWF World Heavyweight Champion. Hulk Hogan has done it, brother. We did gain some popularity. 0.15 in North America, 0.30 in Latin America, 0.30 in Europe, 0.30 in Asia, 0.30 in Oceania, and 0.110 in Africa. So there you go. With the, the, the last few segments of this show were just killer. 195, 190, 189. I mean, those are killer. Those are killer numbers. But WrestleMania 5 should have been a huge success. As we know, Donald Trump was sitting ringside. I got, uh, I made $1.1 million in ticket sales. With an attendance of 20,000. Now I need to end all of these storylines. Yeah, perfect in the blue blazer. Yeah, that's over. Brain Busters and Strike Force. That's over. Rude and Steiner. That's over. Bravo. Hercules, you know what? We'll let that keep going. Because Dino Dino won the match. But we're going to let that keep going. Bret Hart, that's paid off. Andre, Stud, Doug, and Haku. You know, uh, King Haku won that. I guess we could keep that going. Piper Orndorff, you know. Going to keep that going for a little while longer. 87. We could still build that up. Rockers go for the titles. We're going to keep that one going. Honky Tonk in the IC title. That's over. Hogan goes for the gold. That's over. Now, I probably want to create a storyline with Brutus Beefcake and Macho Man. Uh, I guess let's see if we can put Miss Elizabeth. I'll put Miss Elizabeth in there too, and then we'll put Randy Savage in there. And this is going to be Savage 
seeks revenge. So we're going to have Savage, you know, try to seek revenge here on Hogan. What do I want to do? Uh, let me see. So, we have Mania, okay, which we just did. We have a European Rampage Tour. I got Saturday Night's Main Event in June. Saturday Night's Main Event in July. SummerSlam in August. So, the Rampage Tour... 120 minutes, two hours. We could probably do Hogan Savage there, the rematch. And that Saturday night's main event, the second Saturday in June. Hmm. We could do Piper Hogan. And then we'll save Hogan Rude for SummerSlam. And then a main event, the Saturday night's main event in July could be Rude and a tag team partner against Beefcake and Hogan. How about Rude and Savage? Oh, I should be writing all of this down. All of my creative, all of my creative juices are flowing. Could do Beefcake Hogan against Savage Rude in July. Yeah, I think we could do that. Piper Hogan. I think that works. All right, let me go back to my storylines here. So we'll keep Piper Orndorff. Orndorff Piper will blow off at the European tour. One more time. Piper will win. And then we'll put Hogan... In that storyline. Oh, we got to do Rick Martel. And Tito Santana. Because. Um, Tito. Let me see here. We had we had Martel turn on Tito at Mania, like he did in real life. Oh, perfect! Oh, look at that one. That's perfect. So there we go. We now have Rick the Model Martel. I'm going to change his name here. Do a little addition. Boom. Then we're going to change his we're going to change his put. No, we're going to keep mid card right now. But we will eventually we'll bump him up. We're going to have him go for uh well, we can't have him go for the Intercontinental title because I got a freaking heel with the title. Well, first things first. We got to get the push started. Mm-mm-mm. 
All right, let's look and see here who's available. Let's apply some filters. Works for no promotion. Let's see. With the young Al Snow. Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, superstar Billy Graham. It's 1989. What do you say? Billy Jack Haynes, man. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, a very young Booker T could change the whole course of wrestling. We should. We should sign Brian Pillman. What a star. That's what we should do. Bruce Pritchard's available. Buddy Landau. A young Cactus Jack. Chris, <clears throat> Chris Benoit, Dan Severn, mm -mm -mm. oh man, Eddie Guerrero, Headhunter A and Headhunter B, all well, those guys were f trash, Ice Train, oh shit brother, Ice train. These are all the guys right now that are free agents. I wonder why Linda McMahon's a free agent. That's my wife. I am playing Hogan. I mean, I am McMahon in this. Vincent Kennedy. I wanted to see if there were any, like, you know, big names available. We're bringing Missy Hyatt. I love a young Missy Hyatt. Ole Anderson. Raven. Young Rob Van Dam. A young Sabu. Oh, a young Steve Austin. Look at that. Look at Steve Austin. Young Terry Reynolds. Oh, Terry Bam Bam Gordy. That's a free agent. He's known to be a big partier. He's 27 years old in 1989. Hmm. Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tony Schiavone. Young Yokozuna, 1989. Oh, shit. Terry Funk? What do we say we bring in Terry Gordy, huh? What if we bring in Terry Gordy? He can... Be a heel. God, I got so many heels. I really don't need another one, I don't think. Yeah. You know, it's tough to say. Oh, man, there's the Taz Maniac. Look at Taz. Look at Taz. <laughs> I love it. Taz looking the, the only way he can. Jerry Jarrett has accepted a contract renewal with USWA. So Jerry Jarrett uh, sticking around there. All right. It's, well, we got to resign.
Resign Jesse. We're going to resign Smash to a two year deal. Gorilla Monsoon to a five year deal. Got to keep Gorilla around. Got to keep Gorilla Monsoon around. All right, here we go. So this is the first primetime wrestling after WrestleMania. So we won't hear... Oh, I got to plug in my computer. We won't hear from, from Savage. We're going to give Savage a, a week off. So we won't, we won't hear from Savage. But we will hear from Hogan, the new... WWF champion. Got to do something with the model, Rick Martel. We also have a new Intercontinental champion. We now got to try to rehab Bad News Brown for putting over Bret Hart at Mania. Lower mid card. Man. I'm trying to find him up. Oh, Sam Houston. He could wrestle Sam Houston. There's Sam Houston. We'll go eight minutes. Bad News Brown's going to win. We got to make Bad News Brown look good. So that'll be our first match, our opener, if you will, on primetime wrestling. Now, let's add an angle. Promo. He's not going to talk about anybody in particular. Well, yeah, I guess we'll talk about Tito Santana. Because we do have that program established, that storyline. And there's... Let me change that here. Martel. So Martel explains actions against Tito. I think what I'm going to do. So he's going to explain that. And then we're going to put Tito Santana in a match. No, I lied. We're going to put Rick Martel in a match. And then after the match, after Rick wins, right? He's going to beat the Red Rooster. Haven't used the Red Rooster at all. So after Rick the Model Martel wins, and the match purpose, of course, is to make Rick look good, then there's going to be an attack by Tito Santana on Rick Martel. So we're going to get that thing really cranking. Tito attacks Martel after the match. Because you got to start building. We got to start building some heat for that feud. Uh, we'll have Piper. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll have Piper talk about Orndorff again. Keep that thing going. It's Piper. He'll rattle on. Piper discusses Orndorff. And then I'm going to have another match made between Orndorff and Martel after this next match. We'll get Mr. Perfect on the card against enhancement talent Paul Roma. Perfect is going to get the dub. 
The purpose is to make him look good. And now we will add a match is made between Orndorff and Roddy Piper. And we'll let Lord Alfred Hayes be the announcer who announces the match. We'll let that take three minutes. So boom. Oh. Piper versus Orndorff is made. All right. What else we got here? Well, let's check storylines. Okay. So I guess we can further along this one. I'd say let's just have let's just have Shawn Michaels. No, I guess we'll have to give Marty Janetti a rub here. Let's have Janetti beat X. How about it? Let's have Janetti beat X clean in the middle. So that'll put a little more heat on that. We could do Andre and Stud. God, I really like. Mm. Andre and Stud. I got 15 minutes. So let's just make that a promo. Andre and King Haku. Talking about Duggan and Big John Stud. For three minutes. Colossal Connection and Duggan. Sorry, Col Colossal Connection Talk, Stud and Duggan. All right, got 12 more minutes, and I got to work in a Hogan promo. Got to work in a Hogan promo. Let's get Jake on there. With an enhancement talent, Jim Powers, Jake wins, make Jake look good, we're out. And now I guess I'll just end this show with two promos. I'll end it with a couple of, with a couple of big ones here. Ultimate Warrior. Who's just going to cut a promo? Not not talking about anyone. Just talking. And then with two minutes to go, we'll just have Hogan talk. And we'll have Hogan talk savage, and that will save the main event. The business was different then, you know? Hogan talks rematch with Savage. You could end primetime wrestling with promos back in the day, you know? Back in the 80s. You could do these sorts of things. They didn't need to be five-star matches. The characters were bigger than that. It's not like today. All right. Bad News Brown, a 60%. There were moments where the crowd lost interest. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Next, we had Martel explains his actions against Tito Santana. 68%. The arrogant gimmick of Rick the Model Martel worked well in the story beat. We put Martel against Rooster in a match. 
not good. 68% crowd loss interest. They were, they didn't even they cared even less about the uh, post match attack. So now here we go. So now we need the big names to save this edition of primetime wrestling. Piper discusses Orndorff 100%. Piper and Roma. I mean, sorry, Mr. Perfect and Roma. Nobody cares. All right. And then Orndorff and a Piper, they make a match. The match is made. Nobody cared. Janetti beats Axe. It's a little bit better there, 71%. This show is not good. 83%. The show felt better when I was booking it. You know, when you're booking them on paper. Colossal Collection. Connection, rather. Cuts a promo. 83%. Andre helps that, obviously. Jake and Jim Powers. Nobody cares. Warrior Talks. Everybody cares. 100%. And then Hogan talks Savage, 99%. This show lost popularity in the States. I am not even going to look at it anymore. We're going to move right along. Axel Rotten caught in possession of hard drugs. Not surprising. Wahoo McDaniel has accepted a renewal with the AWA. Pat Tanaka has accepted a renewal with the AWA. Dutch Mantel and Downtown Bruno become closer friends. Terry Garvin retires into a backstage role. All right. NWA makes a contract renewal for Warrior Hawk. Hmm. He's going to accept it. Yep, he has accepted it. Okay. One day away. And now we are at our next event. Let's I do the same numbers every month. Every show I do the same numbers. 10,000. Never changes. I got 8 million. What the hell am I going to do with all this money? You know, what am I going to do? You know what? I should have Hogan in this. My bad. I should have Hogan in that. So, that was my f fuck up. Let's see. Oh, I got 32 days. I got plenty of time to get this thing dialed in. All right. Here we go. Another edition of Primetime Wrestling. We'll start the show with Smash and Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is going to win. Just to make Shawn look good. Smash, man, this guy's unhappy about everything. All right, so we're going to change it. We're going to make it Axe, beating Axe, because Smash is a dick. Hmm. Smash is not letting us, it's not letting us progress the Rockers at all. Not at all. All 
All right, so now we're going to have we're going to have a pull apart here. Mm, no. No. Let's let's do a match. Rick Martel against Scott Steiner. Ten minutes. The model's going to win. He's not going to win clean. Match purpose is to make the model Martel look good. Oh, hold on one second. We gotta answer this phone call. Hold on.
All right. Sorry about that. That was a work call. All right. Well, now let's further book this show. Let's see here. Seven days. Uh, one, two, three. Three more shows until the European Rampage Tour, where I'm going to rematch Hogan Savage on that show. And then what else? Um, I need to do, before that, I need to do Savage and Brutus. But we'll do that in a bit. I have some time. So let's start this show off with a Hogan promo on Randy Savage. For three minutes. All right, so let's see. Hogan Talks Tour Rematch. We're going to start the show with a Hogan promo. <clears throat> We're going to do Orndorff and Piper again. So let's put Orndorff in a match. Against the Warlord. We don't want to go too long with that. Because it's the Warlord. We want to make Orndorff look good. We want it to last seven minutes. And then. We'll add a Piper promo. Where is Piper? There's Piper. Add a Piper promo. Where he's talking about Paul Orndorff. It's Piper. He's long-winded. Piper talks Orndorff. All right. And then we'll have Rick the Model Martell talk about Tito. Model Talks Tito. I thought I spelled model wrong. I was looking at that. I was like, man, it doesn't look right. It was right. You were right. All right. Next match. Tito Santana is going to beat the Barbarian. In eight minutes. Matches to make Tito look good. Let's see here. All right, let's look here. It's Tito Santana. All right. I think we should do the match. I think we'll do Beefcake and Savage on this show.
I think that's what we'll do. Randy, Randy. Uh, Gene Okerlund. Oops. Gene Okerlund there. Three minutes. All right, Hogan, Orndorff versus Warlord. Piper talks Orndorff, Model talks Tito, Tito against the Barbarian. Match with Beefcake and Hogan. And then let's do, uh, let's get Andre in here against Big John Stud. We'll go nine minutes. We'll put it in a draw. It'll be a count out. Oh, what's two? Bad news Brown promo. That's going to kill everything that. It's going to kill the show, basically. I can almost guarantee you it's going to kill the show. I can almost guarantee it. But we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to add a... Four minute Savage promo. We're going to make it five. Because he's also, Savage is also, you know, thinking about that, talking about that. Hogan rematch for the belt on the Rampage tour. So it's, you know, it's not all about Beefcake. It's also about Hogan. Randy Savage against Brutus the Barber. Fourteen minutes. We're going to make Savage look good. All right, so we got a Hogan promo, which should open the show at 100%. Orndorff Warlord will be somewhere in the 60s, I would guess. Piper Orndorff will be in the 90s and maybe even 100 Model Talks Tito, that'll also be in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Tito and the Barbarian won't be good. The match is made between Savage and Beefcake. Andre versus Big John Stud, a bad news Brown. Yeah, this show's not going to be blow away. There's Hogan, 100%. As you would expect. 68. That's what I figured. Orndorff. Orndorff and Piper has been like my secret my secret sauce. See? But I think it's all because of Roddy. It ain't, it ain't because of Orndorff. 66. That's what I figured. 75. 82 for the matchmaking. Of Beefcake. Oh, I thought that would be good. Or not good, I shouldn't say that, but I thought it would be better. 71%. Bad News Brown, I was not expecting that. Savage Talks Beefcake, 100. And the main event is a 90. 90%. The crowd was red hot. 
No popularity change in the states, but that's okay. We just don't need it to be red. You feel me? Let's skip ahead here. We're almost in May. Okay, Arn wants a push. I think the Rampage Tour Arn wants a push. Arn wants a push. Hmm. I mean, maybe we could just give him the titles and change direction. And instead of doing oh, due dates July. Okay, I got time. I got time. I will do the stream up until the Rampage tour. I'll do Rampage, the Rampage tour, and then I'm out of here. All right. Let's start this edition of Primetime Wrestling with the Randy Savage promo. Uh-huh. He's talking about Hulk Hogan. Savage discusses rematch. All right. Jim Duggan, King Haku. We're going eight minutes. Doug is going over. Clean in the middle. All right. Let's do another match. Now the Heart Foundation. Get these guys a win here. Bret Hart. The Hart Foundation beating the Twin Towers. Let's add an angle here. The promo for the Brain Busters. Who aren't available. I don't know why. Why aren't they available? I can't do a promo. We'll have Axe and Smash talk about the Rockers. I'm going to try it again. Where I'm going to have... I'm going to try... I'm going to try to get the tag titles on the Rockers at the Rampage Tour. And then... We'll do... A Brain Busters. Until then, okay. All right. 
So the heat here, 88. So the heat here is getting there. Uh, maybe if the heat gets higher, they won't care. And they'll let it happen. Oh, I got to do some Turkulies and Dino Bravo. I'm going to keep going on Tito Santana. All right, let's get Dino out there in a match that he can win. Let's see. Oh my God, these are just these are just killers. How about if Hercules helps? Jim Powers beat Dino Bravo. How about it? Ha! Ah, he's mad. Of course. Of course. I guess we'll do a brawl between Dino Bravo and Hercules. Hercules and Bra and Dino Bravo. Okay, 21 minutes. I don't have a main event in my head yet. Uh, we're just going to get Jake out there. Oh, it was Jake and Scott Steiner. Roberts. But you know what we do we need to add this as a storyline. Cause if I don't, all of this work is gonna be for naught. So before I forget It's the snake pit for Steiner. I don't know why. I just keep beating him and beating him and beating him and beating him. Well, I'm not quite sure why. All right. So let's get the model another win. As he's going to beat... Jake the Snake's brother, Sam Houston. Nine minutes to go. Tito talks Martel. Trying to build that up. And then we're going to end this thing with a Piper promo on Orndorff. All right. Savage discusses the rematch. Duggan versus Haku. 
Heart Foundation versus the Twin Towers. Let's start the show. Of course, Hogan, 100% with Savage. You knew that. Duggan, Haku, not good. Heart Foundation, not good. Demolition's talking, not good. Dino Bravo, 51%, not good. Hercules and, and Dino hit that ball, 72%. Oh! Damn. Look at that. 96. For Jake and Steiner cutting a promo. You love to see it. Model, not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. That's a 100%. That's a good way to end the show. I'll take no popularity changes above Reds. You know? I'll take it over the Reds. All right, let's skip ahead. We have five more days. Oh, Kevin, 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 Kevin Sullivan leaves NWA. Sign him for one year. Make him a heel. Upper mid card is good. How about Sullivan? Hmm. Unstable. Boom, we just signed Kevin Sullivan. We're bringing Kevin Sullivan to the WWF. How about Pillman? I don't want to let this I don't want to let Pillman go. Let's sign him. We're going to make him an upper upper mid-card heel. He's also going to be unstable. We just signed Pillman. Wow, we just signed Pillman. Let's go. Adrian Street. I wish I could get him away. August 26th, 1989. So we got a few more. We got a few more months. All right. Well, look at that. Well, would you look at it? Would you look at it? AWA makes a contract for Cherry Gibbs. PN News. Yeah, don't care. Those guys can... Go ahead and sign. All right, first show here, Prime Time Wrestling. Let's see. Oh, there's Pillman. Let's go. All right. Let's get the Rockers out there again. We're going to have the Rockers beat non-tag team champion Demolition which is Axe and Smash and Smashers are going to like it yep I knew it Smash still unhappy son of a bitch alright well let's let him beat the Rougeaus then In 12 minutes. Let's add a promo. Brian Pillman. Is going to cut a loose cannon promo. Pillman. Pillman, let's see, P 
Pillman. We'll just do Pillman debuts with promo. Let's get this party started. Let's add a match. The Brooklyn Brawler. I need a baby face here. Let's give Hercules. And then I guess I'll do a post-match beatdown. I feel like, wasn't Hercules a tag team partner with Bravo? Or am I not remembering things correctly? Let's see. That was Paul Roma. Power and glory. We should bring them back. We're going to bring them back. Yes, let's bring them back. Watch this. And we're going to have a post-match angle. It's going to be a big-time brawl between Dino Bravo, Hercules, Paul Roma, Now, who's going to be, who's going to be with Dino Bravo? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about Sullivan? Sullivan and Bravo. Oh, man. Could that work? Could this work? I don't know. Sullivan debuts. Plus power and glory reunite. So we're bringing back power and glory. How about it? Hercules and Paul Roma. Well, that's going to be a hot. It's going to be a hot thing right there, baby. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's have perfect. I don't have perfect even in a in a program. Yeah, I got perfect doing nothing right now, so I'm not going to do anything with him here. Instead, we'll have Jake. We'll have Jake. Oops. We'll have Jake there. Discuss. Scott Steiner. Okay, Roberts talks, Steiner. There we go. Now we should put Steiner in a match. We should get Steiner in a match here. I haven't, haven't worked him in a while. Let's get him in a match. Let's have him go up against Nikolai Volkov. We'll have him win in eight minutes. We'll make Scott Steiner look good. There we go. Now we're going to have Sullivan. Cut a promo. I guess we'll do Sullivan and Dino Bravo. I'm going to cut a promo. On Hercules. And Paul Roma. I got to change Roma's status there. Sullivan's dangerous. It's going to be a mild risk. He's a mild risk. 
Sullivan and Bravo. Bravo. Oh my God, I can't type. Bravo talk. Oops. P and G. Power and glory. I really think this is going to be a good card. I'm feeling good about this primetime wrestling. Got the debuts. I'm feeling good here. I'm feeling good. Let me fix Paul Roma because he's a he's a jabron. We're gonna make a mid card and Hercules. Mid card. We're gonna make those guys a mid card tag team right now. Maybe we'll get them fired up. All right. Main event match here on Primetime Wrestling, May 10th, 1989. Rick the Model Martell. He needs to pick up. I feel like he needs to pick up a good victory against a decent enough face. So we're going to have him beat in eight minutes. We're going to have him beat the Red Rooster. It's to make the model look good. We're going to save it. And then we're going to end the show with a post-match attack by Tito on Rick as I continue to put so much juice behind this program. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm putting so much emphasis <laughs> in this angle between Tito. Oh, you know what? I got to do this because I almost forgot. Because we'll just do this whole thing here and it won't mean anything. Sullivan and Dino Bravo. Oh, shit. Sullivan and Dino Bravo, and then Hercules and Paul Roma. I don't have a name for it. Uh, Power and Glory are back. That's what we'll name this angle. I, you know, I don't know. We did nothing here for Hogan and Savage and their rematch. That's okay. This primetime wrestling was all about debuting Brian Pillman and the big Sullivan angle with Dino Bravo. Never thought I'd say that. All right, here we go. 81% rockers, baby. They're getting there. Might just have to just, I might have to just suck it up and beat him. Beat Demolition and not worry about Smash being all pissed off about it. They'll get over it. 70% Brian Pillman. That's a good debut promo, man. He's wrestling next week. 64% for Hercules and the Brooklyn Brawler. But that's okay because here's the big angle at the end. 71%. Woo-wee. Let's go. Jake the Snake. I mean, what a master. 96% on his promo. Steiner. Awful. Nobody cares. Here's a promo there with Sullivan and, the, and Dino talking Hercules and Roma. 73. 72 for the model. He's getting there. 60 for the attack by Tito Santana. Mm, we're going to lose popularity. Yep. 0 0.10. Zero. I kind of figured. I kind of figured. I'm going to re-sign the model here to a two-year deal. I'm going to re-sign DiBiase here to a two-year deal. 
He does not get creative control. We'll re-sign Bad News Brown to a one-year deal. Just because I don't have a ton of plans. Joey Morella, he dies in, what, 94? Mm, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. That's five years. I didn't even realize I had Barry Horowitz. I haven't even used him. All right, we'll deal with those guys later. All right, we're three days away from the Rampage Tour. Okay, no one's leaving. Stan Lane was offered a contract renewal. He took it. All right, here we go. This is the Rampage Tour. We're going to open this show. Let's open this show with power and glory. Against Kevin Sullivan and Dino Bravo. This was not. This is not meant to be a long, a long uh, term thing here. The Dino Bravo pairing. Let's see. What's it? yeah? I guess you know. I guess we'll have Paul Roma get the win. He needs it. Oh my God! Why? Why do these these guys have these massive egos? <laughs> right. But it's still, we're still doing make Roma look good. So, why is that? Is it because he's, but he's not, is he considering, like, still considering him enhancement talent? No. He's a mid-card face. So I wonder why they don't like that. All right. There we go. Demolition is going to lose the tag team titles to the Rockers. That's what we've decided. It's going to pin X. He's going to do it in 15, 16 minutes. We're going to do this to steal the show. I'm sorry. I'm proceeding anyway. Sorry. I can't do this anymore. I can't do it. I just realized I had no angle for the Honky Tonk Man, who's my intercontinental champion. I just realized that. Hmm. Jake the Snake at Scott Steiner. We're going to go 19 minutes. Jake's going to win. Hmm. And he's going to cheat a little. The match is designed to make Steiner look good. 
even in defeat. Well, that was weird. Why couldn't I save the match? Uh, Steiner? Jake Roberts? Jake Roberts is going to win, but he's not going to win clean. The match purpose is to make Steiner look good. There we go. Look at that right there in the in the bright red. Smash is not happy. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let me take a look at my storylines. Did that one? Did that one? That's a good spot, I think, for for Tito and Rick Martel. I want them to try to steal the show. We're going to let them go 20 minutes. Martel's going to win. Clean. Clean, I say. We're going to try to get these guys to steal the show. These two mid-card workers. Yeah, that's going to backfire. That's going to backfire. Make Rick the model, model Martel look good. That's Tito's job there. So boom, boom, boom. All right. So Dino, Bravo, and Hercules can go away. Because now I put these guys going down here. Let's do the... Oh, tag match here. Uh, uh, no, you know what? We should just go Piper Orndorf, right? Orndorf and Roddy Piper. 20 minutes. Piper's going to get the win. By cheating, I know I'm, I think I'm booking too many cheatings. Um, make Orndorff look good, even though we're beating him. Because if I'm going Piper Hogan for Saturday night's main event. I need Piper to win. I will do a Hogan promo. Actually, we'll do a Savage promo. On Hogan.
four minutes. Savage Sox rematch. And then Hogan's going to do one. Also for four minutes. Hogan talks savage. And then the main event. 30 minutes. Savage versus Hogan. Earl Hebner is going to be our referee. Titles on the line. The winner is going to be Hogan. It's going to be a clean victory. We're still going to make Savage. Actually, we're going to go for make history. There you go. Sorry, brother. All right, Power and Glory for Sullivan and Dino Bravo will be our first match on the opener of the European Real Page Tour. Start the show. 69%. That is not good. Not good. 85% new tag team champions and new. That's right. We got new tag team champions. Wow. Steiner and Jake, man. 85%. 78, see? We're building we, we we're building some heat here. But now that now that Rick Martel won. But well, we'll go back to it again. We have to. That's Piper winning in the blow off on Orndorf. Savage promo one hundred. Hogan promo ninety four. The epic main event. Five stars. I didn't realize I did a comedy match. Boy, did I fuck that up. Still got a hundred. Still gained popularity. I can't believe I selected a comedy match, but that was an accident. There was nothing funny about that. Mil Moskris retires from an active wrestling role, May 17th, 1989. Damn. Damn, Mill. Mill gave the game up. Mil Moskris is no longer in an active wrestling role. All right, so we have Saturday night's main event in 24 days. That's when I want to do Piper and Hogan. I got to turn Orndorff now because Orndorff continues to lose to Piper. He's not going to be happy. That's still going. This can't get any hotter. The storyline is done. We're moving on. 
So let's create a storyline here. Piper goes for the title. It's going to be Roddy Piper. And Hogan for the belt. I'm going to end this storyline here. I'm going to create a new storyline where Orndorf Orndorf goes heel. But who's he going to go heel with? Orndorf and Warrior. Woohoo! That'll work. Orndorf goes heel. This is a great way to give uh, Warrior, start building up Warrior for next year's WrestleMania. Orndorff's going heel. Nice. I think we'll just have Orndorff attack Warrior after the next match. Let me go back to my storylines here. So that's the two new ones. Got to get this thing dialed in here. Probably put Sullivan in a singles match. Actually, you know what? We got to get away from this thing. Because I want power and glory. <sighs> now, nah, we'll let Sullivan beat a couple of um, enhancement talents. Because I, I want power and glory to start building up for some, make a tag title, you know, push. Jake the Snake and Steiner, we'll keep that going. We're going to keep the model and, and, Tito going, oh, I got to do something with Honky Tonk Man and Pillman. Got to do something with Pillman. Pillman's in here. If Pillman needs a baby face. Pillman needs a baby face. How about Beefcake? So Pillman and Beefcake to get Pillman's feet wet. Orndorf, Warrior, Hogan, Piper. We'll keep working those. We'll keep working those. We'll keep working the Rockers and Demolition. And then what I would like to do is I'd like to bring in a tag team. I'd like to bring in a tag team for Demolition to feud with after I'm done with I like to do it after Demolition's done working with the Rockers Here's B. Brian Blair. He was a part of the Killer Bees. The other guy was Jim Brunzel. Is Jim Brunzel... Oh, Bruno? Oh, he's not wrestling. All right. Martin Blair, let's see. Jim Brunzel. Okay. So we could bring these guys in. 
on a year deal. Mid card baby faces. We'll bring these guys in on a mid card deal. Both of them on a year deal. Offer was accepted. Sorry about that. I got a work email. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, she filled it out right. You know, that's a smart lady right there. Give me one second here. I got to respond to this work email. On my Mac. All right. All right. So they are signed. We have signed Oops. We have signed the Killer Bees. It's just they're already an existing team. I don't see them. That's weird. Okay, the killer. All right, there's the killer bees. So we have a babyface tag team. Well, we could have, yeah, we'll probably do Power and Glory against Demolition now that I see it. But we could do the Rougeaus and the killer bees. Those might be some good matches. All right, we're really making things happen here. We got $10 million. All right. So let's do, let's get the killer bees going. Right in there. Storyline will be the Killer Bees are back. So we'll do the Rougeaus and the Killer Bees in a program. All right, so we got the Killer Bees and the Rougeaus. Pillman goes to New York, opening up with his first program with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Orndorff's going to go heel on Ultimate Warrior. Piper's going for the title. And then we got these other storylines that we are still working to improve. And, oh, I got to get 
I got to get Honky Tonk in a promo. I mean, in a program. He's got the damn Intercontinental Championship. I got to get him going in something. It's a must. It's a must. Oh, I got nothing for Mr. Perfect either. Damn. This booking job's hard, huh? I got nothing for Savage. Coming off the Hogan program. I got nothing for Savage. I wish I had uh, I'm looking for who can go after I got a heel in our continental champion. Man. I don't have anybody. I don't have a baby face to go after Hockey Talk Man. Hmm. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'm looking here. I need a I need a baby face. Uh, I have a relationship with the USWA. Carrie Von Eric, August eleventh, nineteen ninety. Hmm. God, what if I do Adrian Street? In a program, can I do that? I think I'd only do that with, yeah, I could only do that with my guys. Damn. Not until August. A lot of these guys' deals are August deals. No, not style, not worker type. Uh, I wish I could just do like a baby face or heel.
I need somebody who I could just bring in and put in a program. With Honky Tonk, man, this isn't going to work. I got to look within. Coco Beware? Build, Flabby. <laughs> I didn't realize when I put the title on a heel that it, it would be this hard to find a, a, a damn baby face. I don't want to do Brett. I feel like it's it's a little too early. How about the blue blazer? Oh, he's an enhancement talent. Yeah, I, I'm in some trouble with trying to find somebody who can go after the Intercontinental Championship. I, you know what? I guess... You know what? Fuck it. We'll just do... Fuck it. I will do. Coco Beware. And this storyline will be Honky Tonk starts a new streak. You know, like a new streak of days. <clears throat> Got a ton of angles here, ton of storylines, rather. I think this is good. Yeah, I got to start getting um, Yeah, I got to start right here the brain busters. I got to start getting them ready. And getting them ready for a push. Once I can finish the program with the Rockers and Demolition, Which is getting close. Hogan's been WWF champion again for 44 days. Same as Honky Tonk. And the Rockers have been champions for three days. So we're getting there. Pretty good title history. Nicely done. Savage did not defend the title at all. He defended it one time and lost. Honky Tonk, 44 days. Warrior. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Steamboat, Savage, Tito. 
Greg the Hammer. See, I got a lot of guys on this roster, but everybody's a freaking heel. It's like, you know. As much as I... Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep him unstable, but I'm going to make him a baby face. But I'm, I can't do that until after the Steiner program. And then maybe I could do something with Steiner, but fuck, I've beaten Steiner pretty regularly. That's three and four. I don't think the fans are going to see him as a star. You know? Rick Rude, man. He's the he's the guy. I'm tuning up Rude. Soon, soon he's going to be going for it. Hogan has been beaten. Honky Tonk has been beaten. Warrior has been beaten once. I don't know why I I I probably prematurely deleted the Warrior Honky Tonk storyline because I probably could have kept that going. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta get Savage going, man. I gotta get Savage, the damn baby face to work with. I gotta get Savage, the baby face to work with. Uh... Haha, <laughs> don't you know? Piper's a good heel. But he's also going to make a hell of a baby face after his match. That's all right. You know what? We could use a little cool off, I think, for for uh, Savage after losing the title. This is who I want right here. August 20th, 1989. That's who I want right there. That's who I want. Ric Flair. August 20th, 1989. I hope he doesn't resign. With the uh, NWA. That's who I want to get my hands on. Ric Flair, man. Not until August. We'll get there. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget.